Hello guys, we are back with another Starbucks video. I am extremely excited for this video for many different reasons. Um, we're gonna jump right into it, I promise. But I just wanted to address one little thing that happened in the part one video that I did. If you have not seen that video yet, definitely go check it out because this is a part two to that video. I got extremely and I mean extremely by it's like basically every single comment, extremely dragged for the way that I made the espresso. I didn't know that espresso was made in a different kind of machine. I thought it was just espresso beans in any type of coffee pot. I was very mistaken and you guys pointed that out to me very clearly that <laughs> that was incorrect. So I've learned and I have my espresso maker on the way. It should be here tomorrow, so no fear. This video will be done correctly. We are redeeming ourselves in this video, and I am very excited. So we're gonna do two new recipes in this video and one redo. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You'll see as the video goes on. But the first one that we are gonna do, I went through the comments and I wanted to see what I wanted to see what drinks you guys wanted to see me make. And one of the ones that I saw was a green tea frappuccino. Basically, it's like the matcha green tea cream frappuccino from Starbucks, which I actually order, I've ordered before and I do like it. So I thought, amazing, we're gonna start with that one. I believe what you need is milk. I normally don't use cow milk. I would normally use soy milk or coconut milk, but I think for this kind of frappuccino type thing, in order for it to blend correctly, you need normal milk. So, got it. I got this matcha at Target. It just says organic Japanese matcha for lattes, smoothies, baking recipes. So I hope this one is good. Of course, I know it's not the exact one Starbucks uses, but it'll have to do. Last, not lastly, but I also have vanilla. I. The recipe that I found, which again, I'll link, I'll link all of the recipes down below. The recipes I found for this one called for vanilla, but I think it meant vanilla extract, but I have this vanilla. I also have vanilla extract, so we'll just see what it says as we go. And then you'll need ice in a cup, of course, and a blender, which I wanted to avoid anything to do with the blender because I personally have not had the best of luck with blenders the last couple of videos. I think it's my blender. I don't think it's me. I don't think I have a good blender. But since this is all liquids and stuff, I think we should be okay. Fingers crossed and let's do it. In the blender, we are going to start with half a cup of ice cubes, then one cup of milk. Okay, that's one cup milk. Then it says three tablespoons of sugar, which just seems like a lot. So I think I'm only gonna do two, just, or maybe like two and a half. I did two and a half because three just seems absurd. Then it says three teaspoons of the matcha. I really hope this tastes good because I personally love this drink at Starbucks. But again, I don't trust my blender for anything. Like literally anything, so. So like I thought, this one does say vanilla extract. It says a splash or one fourth teaspoon. So we're just gonna measure in a fourth of a teaspoon. I am just like, you know, incorporate it a little bit. Because again, I don't think this blender works at all, truthfully. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna do blend. It looks so watery. Should I add more ice? Is that like how that works? Should I taste it then add more ice? Okay, yeah, it's so watery. Let's taste it. Wow. Wait, it tastes identical, but the texture isn't right. I'm so excited. I think it needs more ice. Let's do more ice. And before y'all come for me, I did see the thing where you can add, I think it's called like xanthum gum in order to give it that 
texture, but I don't have it. So we're working with what we have, okay? I don't know if that did anything. It's still so watery. Last shot and then we're just... Why do I always drop things? <gasps> Those were whole pieces of ice. <laughs> Wait, should I blend it more? Those were whole pieces of ice. Oh my god. Okay, she looks good. It's kind of frozen, a little not, but she looks pretty similar. Let's try it. I'm gonna get a straw. It tastes pretty spot on. There is some ice. Other than the fact that my blender is god awful, it tastes identical. This one I was pretty nervous about because I feel like matcha is a hard thing to like master. Do you hear me chewing the ice? Should I try to blend it more? <sighs> Wait, there's a button for frappe? Probably what I should have done the whole time. Okay, this thing has to be completely blended at this point. Has to. <gasps> you know what? <laughs> How did I just do that? <gasps> Bean, don't. Now I should be able to drink it with a straw. Mm-hmm. It is, oh my God, it's so good. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed. Conclusion for the first drink, we're off to a great start. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I think I will try it with different milks, like coconut milk, soy milk. I think I will, you know, give it a shot because that tastes so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have a really good feeling about this one, guys, this video. I have a really good feeling that tomorrow, tomorrow's drink is gonna go great. I have my espresso maker being delivered tomorrow. This is good. Also, before we go, before you know, I end for today, if you've watched my videos, you heard me talk about these. There's like none left, I ate the whole bag already. I dropped one in my car. Not good, it's probably melted already. Anywho, you guys have heard me talk about Smart Sweets before, but now, Really exciting news. I got you guys a discount code. So if you want to go try Smart Sweets, basically they're just a super low sugar. There's three grams of sugar in this entire bag. They're 80 calories, zero grams of fat, 28 grams of fiber, which is great, and only 35 grams of carbs. And this whole bag, like you can eat all of them for that. Amazing. Love that. Normally, normal candy is ridiculous. So if you guys want to try these out, especially with all of us staying home snacking, and if you're craving candy, here we go. My two favorite are the sweet fish and the peach rings. So if you want to give them a try, go to smartsweets.com and you can use the code NikkiC10 for 10% off your order. And let me know if you try them and you like them. They're literally my favorite. Like I said, the sweet fish and the peach rings are my favorite. I need to stop eating them. I'm already eating these, drinking this. I'm not going to be hungry for dinner. Day one, off to a great start. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. If you guys are wondering what I look like when I wake up, here it is. And I'm sorry you've had to witness it. But it is a super rainy day today. I didn't think I was gonna leave my bed. Still don't think I'm really going to leave my bed after I do this. I'm gonna make the drink and then, you know, Go lay down again but it is redemption day today we are doing the strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk is that what it even is we're doing the pink drink again if you don't know what i'm talking about i tried the pink drink in part one it didn't go well it actually went terrible terrible i read through the comments i read some stuff i learned some things from baristas found out that they use a white grape base, a white grape juice base, 
and some type of strawberry acai powder that they, they don't sell or like concentrate or something like that. But I can't get that anywhere. So then I saw a girl comment and she said that she uses white crayon strawberry juice with coconut milk and it tastes identical. So I'm taking her word for it. I'm trusting her. Do not let me down, please. And that's what I have. I have my Starbucks reusable cup. I got coconut milk and strawberry crayon juice that honestly I already tried and it tastes really good and it actually did taste really similar my, like without the coconut milk so I think we have hope and then I already pre-cut some strawberries so another tip I got through the comments from all my fellow barista fellow baristas as if I am one of them from baristas is that you are supposed to use the lines before ice so you're supposed to put the liquid in before the ice and that counts for any drink except for a macchiato I believe so I don't really know measurements I think I'm gonna start with the juice and then the coconut milk yeah do the first line with the white cranberry juice okay well that's a little bit more Okay, that's like the first slime. Don't do what I just did. The last slime. Ew, I shed like a dog. I got unsweetened, but I mean, this is the only one that they had, so I had no choice. Okay. She's pink. Should I do the shaker? I guess I should. We should just really go all out. I have the shaker, but it's very difficult to use, and I don't know if I really want to go through all that right now. But I have my cup of ice. Oh, I guess we should put the strawberries in. So let's just plop them in. These strawberries, by the way, were like on their last leg. Borderline dead. And now let's add in some ice. Yeah, that was like the perfect amount of ice. I'm literally a barista. So do you think if I just cover the hole on top? Please, dear God. A little, a little messy. Oh, there's napkins right here. Would you look at that? A little bit messy, but like, I mean, wait, it's pink. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Straw in. Oh my Lanta. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It looks so legit. <gasps> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, look. Oh. Okay, she's good. She's good. But I don't think, I don't taste the coconut milk. I like her a lot. But it's almost, it's not, I don't taste the coconut milk. Should I try it with like a different milk? I have soy milk, but isn't a pink drink with coconut milk? Like I think, I don't think you substitute it for other milks. I think it literally just is coconut milk. Okay, so let's just add a little bit more coconut milk. Again, I just think the juice is so overpowering. Should I try it with different measurements? Okay, you know what? So I don't have like another like measure, you know, like Starbucks cup, but we're just gonna do a normal glass. I'm gonna put a little bit of the juice and a lot more of the coconut milk to see how that tastes. Sure, I don't know. Sure. The rest with coconut milk. It sounded gross. I obviously know this isn't like shaken and stuff. Obviously you can see this looks way like lighter. Mm. No. I would say this one is definitely probably the closest you're gonna get. The juice is very overpowering. But I would consider this a win in comparison to last time. By far. Like, look at her. Just, just get like a nice little. She's pink, not gray. It's not 100% accurate. Like, yesterday's was identical to the one at Starbucks. 
This isn't identical, but I would say it's pretty darn close. Taste wise, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Like it tastes really good. Resemblance wise, I would give it like an seven and a half, eight out of 10. Try this, it's a really, really, really good. I did get unsweetened coconut milk. Maybe that makes a difference. I would try it with sweetened coconut milk. This was, like I said, just like the only one they had at Target. But I would try it with sweetened coconut milk. I don't think they do it with like soy milk. I think that's a little weird. I think it is just coconut milk. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. If there is another way to make this drink even better, then of course baristas, everyone else you know to comment down below and let me know. I know they were saying like a white grape juice base, but I don't really understand what that means because white grape juice and what? Like what, th then what? Like strawberry juice with it? I don't know. But I know I really messed up the first time because I used tea and apparently it's not tea. I don't really know. Please just, com just comment what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should add a little bit more coconut milk in this one. No, but it tastes good. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys. <laughs> it's here. Oh my goodness. The espresso maker is here. Okay, hold on. Oh god, it's probably broken. Here she is. I hope I don't get dragged in the comments. All right, I gotta figure out how to use this thing. I just got a really simple one, just like a one cup maker type situation because I don't need anything crazy. I literally just need it for this video. <laughs> or I guess if I ever make this press out. Yeah, she's cute. So look at her. So we will be using her tomorrow. Okay. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. It is officially day three, and you know what that means. We have the coffee maker. I am so excited and so scared. I think this is going to be... I think this is gonna be good. I really do think that we're gonna master it. And I'm not gonna offend anyone this time. I promise. So I have been studying my directions because I... First thing it says is to unscrew the top and remove this little thing. It says fill base with water to the level of safety valve. So that's Definitely that little dot. Oh my god, I didn't even explain what we're making. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Today we are making a pumpkin spice latte, which I am super excited about. I've only had pumpkin spice lattes a handful of times, and I do, I believe, normally get them iced. I normally get pumpkin spice lattes at Halloween Horror Nights, actually. Once it hits, like, 12 midnight or, like, 1 a.m. and you're really tired, I would always just get a pumpkin spice latte, and it, you know, obviously puts you in the Halloween mood. We're nowhere near Halloween, but I thought, let's make an iconic drink, and what's more iconic than a pumpkin spice latte? I would probably normally get this iced, but we're making it hot today, and that's... So now we're going to put this on top, right? And then we are going to take the Starbust, Star, Starbust, Starbust, stop with oh, the smell is strong. The Starburst Espresso Roast. And I'm just going to put one nice tablespoon. Oh my God, I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, this is, you know what, it's fine. It's fine. We'll clean up the mess in a second. You just set it on the stove. While the coffee does something, we are going to make the pumpkin sauce. So the pumpkin spot the pumpkin sauce calls for one cup of pumpkin puree, canned or homemade. We have canned half a cup of sugar, which again, so much sugar, and a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice seasoning, which is optional. But I do have ground allspice and cinnamon, so we're gonna do that. And it says just to simmer for about 10 minutes in a pan. Can you imagine if like this was how Starbucks baristas made the drinks? Did I do this wrong? So, one cup of pumpkin puree. 
I hope you guys saw that. So much sugar. We're gonna do like half of a half of a cup. That is so much sugar. Oh my Lanta. And half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice seasoning. Never mind with a teaspoon. Just sprinkle. I'm gonna do a little bit of cinnamon because who doesn't like cinnamon? I don't really know what's going on with the espresso at all. How long does it normally take? Okay, it happened. There's coffee at the top. I feel like I'm literally making pumpkin pie. Okay, so I just have that on very low heat. And then another barista commented on my last video and said that if I want to know how much espresso to put, that I should use shot glasses. So I have two shot glasses here. Okay, so there's one shot of espresso. So it really just made one shot. So as I just showed you guys, it, this did only make one shot of espresso, which for me is fine because I'm not trying to do anything crazy. But if you're trying to make a lot of espresso, then you should probably get a bigger one. I don't even know how many things it said it would actually make, but for me, that's really all I needed. Now, the next thing that I need to do is heat up my milk. I am, I am using soy milk. So one cup of milk into this mug. And I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to take this off the heat. And then the next thing you would, pop, you would do is froth the milk. But I didn't really want to buy an entire milk frother. I just thought that was a little extreme. So I'm just going to whisk it. If you'd rather use a milk frother, then go ahead. You do you. And then I have my Starbucks cup again. I don't know if this is used for hot things, but we're going to do it anyway. You are going to take one fourth cup of this pumpkin mixture, which is obviously still very hot. One fourth cup and mix that with your espresso. So one shot of espresso to give it a good stir. And then I believe you just, oh, I just burned myself. There we go. So that got all frothy into here. You can kind of see how it was like frothy. And then do I mix it? I'm going to mix it, even though it doesn't say to. Okay, that looks so much better. It was scaring me for a second. Here she is. It honestly looks... Smells a little interesting. But normally, one would then top with whipped cream. But I'm just not a big whipped cream girl. But I will sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, the pumpkin is not too overbearing, which I'm shocked by. The espresso could be stronger. I think I would do two shots of espresso in this. Two shots of espresso, a little bit more of the pumpkin, and it would be so good. Oh my god, well, this is so good. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the pumpkin spice latte in Starbucks. So the fact that I really like this is amazing. And you do have a lot of leftover pumpkin sauce, but it did say in the recipe that you can save it. So I'll probably put it in like a little jar, put it in the fridge, and you can like heat it up when you heat up the milk and make more. It's just really good. I'm like shocked. Okay, again, 10 out of 10. All three were 10 out of 10, guys. Let's just take a second. All of them were really, really, really good. I learned how to use an espresso maker. We are really just moving forward. My camera says it's about to die, so I'm going to close out this video before it actually does die. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you try any of these out, let me know. I would actually suggest trying these out because they were so good. My kitchen is a mess, but that's beside. I don't know why my camera just stopped recording, but anywho, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any other recipes you want me to try. I could do a part three. Comment down below if you try any of these and let me know how they go. Of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss anything. I'm trying to upload as much as possible while we're all stuck in the house to give you guys something to do while we're all just home. Like I said, definitely let me know if you try this because 
I'm amazed. I'm truly amazed. Any Starbucks baristas, comment down below. Let me know what I did wrong or let me know what I did right. If you haven't already checked out the part one, I will leave it linked down below. Of course, I'll leave all the recipes linked down below. And yeah. If you want to stay up to date with more things that I am going to be uploading or doing, then make sure to follow me on Instagram at Nikki Cortland. And I will see you guys super soon with a brand new video. Bye.